Hi there, Nigel Saunders here. Today we're going to be planting trees in my 3D printed pots. I'll show you some of my latest 3D printed pots that are in progress. Today we'll be using our imagination and having lots of fun here in the bonsai zone. These are my latest 3D printed pots. The large one here is designed to look like a Chinese marble pot. And the smaller one, which is just hot off the press, is designed to look like a classic Japanese clay pot. So this one I'll be finishing and painting a red oxide color to look like a clay pot. I really like this pot. It's a nice style with the curved sides, the fairly large feet. I put square drainage holes to match the style of the pot in the bottom. I've got some finishing work to do. We've got a few little gaps here that I got to fill and I got to finish it so it's not such a rough surface on it from the 3D printing and then I'll paint it with primer. The other pot is a my largest pot I've ever printed. It's uh it's almost it's over eight inches long or I think that's 300 something cent 300 something millimeters uh, and I've, I've painted it to kind of look like a weathered marble, so a marble pot that's been sitting outside for years in the rain and all the weather conditions. So we'll be planting probably a ficus tree in here. I want to find a nice tree to go in this pot. This is a sort of a Japanese style pot, so I want to find sort of a traditional Japanese tree to go in this pot. This is the 3D printed pot from a previous video, my oval pot. And I've added three coats of urethane to make it shiny and look more like a glaze on it. And it, it really looks good, I think. It, um, it's fooled a lot of people. They think it's a ceramic pot. So that's good, I guess. Um, I'll be finding a special tree to go in this one today. So we'll be planting that also. Each week I'm working on new styles of 3D pots, creating the models for them. So if you have a style of a pot that you just can't get a hold of but really want, send me a photo of the pot and I'll try and 3D model it. This week I've modeled up a Vietnamese style pot. They have these giant cement pots that they grow huge tropical trees in. Sometimes on a rock island, they look really fantastic. The pots are quite quite ornamental and uh, I, I really like the style of them. So this week I modeled up one and I'll show you that and then we'll go down to the library and print it. I'll show you a picture of the pot that I based the design on and then we'll go in and have a look at the 3D model. Here's the pot here. I really like it. I like the color of it, the weathering on it, the style of it. it it's really nice. It has kind of four square pillars on each of the corner of the pot. It's got a stand underneath it that I'll print later to match the pot. So I'll just print the pot first and then I'll go in and design the stand up for underneath it. So yeah, so that's what I'm after is this type of a look and that type of a finish to it. Here's a rendering of the 3D model I created to create that Vietnamese style large bonsai pot. So it's very similar to the one in the photo. Just a few minor differences. So I'm going to try and print that today. So I'm going to head down to the library soon and see how it goes. I've got the file transferred to my USB stick. Time to go. just got back from the library and my 3D Vietnamese style bonsai pot sort of worked. Um, 
it got this high in the print and then something went wrong. I think the print head got clogged or something. So it only made it halfway up the walls of the pot. Everything was working quite nicely up until then. So you can see the size of it, but it didn't work. So we're going to try it again. It'll be printing probably tonight and hopefully tomorrow I can pick up the finished pot. The delay will give me time to think more about the planting in this pot. I think I will go for a typical Vietnamese style bonsai planting with a rock or some decorative rocks and a tree growing on top of it. So that will be coming. I've had a few other pots malfunction in the past. Uh, sometimes they don't print the walls quite the way you want them to. But I'm not throwing them away. I'm going to plant a slab type penging landscape on top of them. So they look like those marble tray type plantings you see from China. Even though this pot didn't work out either, I'll still plant it. I'll practice painting my cement type finish on it and weathering it. So yeah, I'm not gonna throw it away. It'll be used. Your imagination's the limit when it comes to 3D printing. I printed off a human figure to go with my bonsai trees. The woman leaning against my lemon tree here was created using a program called Poser. Poser allows you to take a human figure, put them in any pose you want, and add any kind of clothing you want to them. It was a lot of fun working on this model, finishing it, painting it. I have a new appreciation for people who paint human miniatures. I'll show you some of the photos of my work in progress on this human figure. I'm still not done yet. I'm going to paint the dress in a traditional African style dress, so very colorful. And I'll have it leaning against one of my African trees. d printing allows you to make whatever you want for your penging landscapes you can make buildings bridges traditional mud men whatever you want the sky's the limit as my 3d printing adventure continues i'll continue to add clips in my upcoming videos of some of the newer models i'm working on and creating it's time now to start the fun part of the video planting trees into my 3d printed pots I have a lot of possible choices of trees to put into the pots. So we'll just start with one pot and pick a tree for it. I'm gonna start by planting my oval 3D printed pot. So let's have a look at the possible trees that would look good planted in here. Even though this pot is quite shallow, it has a large surface area when viewed from above. So it needs a tree with a fairly large trunk and a nice flared root base to justify the size of the pot. The two trees that I think would look best in this pot is my ficus cutting of a cutting or my ficus religiosa, which is just coming back into leaf now. They have a nice wide trunk at the base and would look good in this shallow oval pot. Here's my two possible trees. Let's see which one looks better. The present pot that the ficus religiosa is in Looks good, there's nothing wrong with it, but it doesn't look very miniature. It looks like a pot of about this size. I think if I got it into a shallower oval pot, it would look more like a giant tree. The pot that the ficus cutting of a cutting is in is not a bad size pot, but the color doesn't do anything for the tree. So it too would look better in the shallow oval pot. Both of these trees need repotting very badly. They've been in this pot for quite a while now. You can see the roots growing out of the ficus religiosa on the bottom of the pot. And this one is so full of roots that they're it's growing aerial roots and they're curling around. So I think I'm going to plant the ficus cutting of a cutting into the oval pot. It needs repotting the most. And I think I can get more of a miniature looking tree because they have a smaller leaf size 
than the ficus religiosa. Because I want to do so much in this video, I'm going to have to break it up into parts again. So I'm going to start the repotting of the ficus cutting of a cutting in part two. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for watching and we'll see you then.